<laughs> Welcome, everybody. Would you please rise and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please call the roll. Councilwoman Nicholson? Here. Councilwoman Marcotte? Here. Councilman Dooley? Here. Councilman Malkosha? Here. Supervisor Calavita? Here. You have to forgive me. My ears are a little clogged, so if I'm yelling, you know. <laughs> I always used to make fun of my father. He used to go to jet games, and he would wear earphones, and he would go speak over the phones and yell at everybody, not realizing that, you know, we didn't have earphones on either. But uh, so I'm a little bit, I might be a little bit loud. Anyway, uh, thank you for joining us. We have our opportunity to address the board on a specific agenda item. Yes, sir. Can I please break the rules for just one minute? That's all I'm, that's all I'm going to take. All right, inasmuch as you're the lone participant, no problem. I just wanted to publicly come and say thank you, Tony, and the members of the board for putting up the, the veterans from Tucko. Um, you don't know how much oh, that yeah. means to me and everybody else. My dad is now flying in front of Ann Hutch right up the block where he taught for 30 years. And, you know, it was heartbreaking what Tucko did. I, I told them at their meeting that they should be ashamed of themselves, that mayor and that whole board, for disrespecting all our great veterans. Um, and I just, again, want to say thank you for you, to you guys for doing the right thing, the difference between five Republicans and five Democrats, and that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> okay. Thank you all. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your comments. Appreciate You're welcome. You. God bless our veterans. Yeah. Okay. Um, Moving on, we have appointments. We have an appointment in the highway department. Mr. Latella and Ms. Donovan are recommending the probationary appointment of Cody, Len Cody Lenane of East Chester, New York to the full-time position of labor group E step two uh, schedule three at the annual salary of $50,519 effective November 21st, 2022. If approved, he will be required to serve a probationary period, which will run <clears throat> not less than 12 weeks and not more than 52 weeks. The appointment is contingent upon the successful completion of the background investigation and pre-employment testing. Funds have been provided for in the 2022 budget. So would someone care to make a motion to approve uh, Mr. Lenane to the position of laborer group E? So moved. Second. Please call the roll. Councilman Nicholson. Aye. Councilwoman Marcotte. Aye. Councilman Dooley. Aye. Councilman Marcoche. Aye. Supervisor Calavita. Aye. Next, we have approval of the minutes of the November 1st, 2022 town board meeting. Any modifications or amendments? No. Mm -hmm. No. There being none, someone could make a motion to approve same as submitted? So moved. Second. Please call the roll. Councilwoman Nicholson. Aye. Councilwoman Marcotte. Aye. Councilman Dooley. Aye. Councilman Marcoche. Aye. Supervisor Calavita. Aye. Next, we have reports of departments, boards, and commissions. Our police department report, Lieutenant Graff, anything to add? No, sir. Okay. We will receive and file same. Uh, this is for October 2022, and it includes all of our uh, parking summonses, V&Ts, detective report, and, of course, our statement of accounts, which is in good shape, thank heavens. Okay. Next, we have the law department report. Mr. Rader? Yes, good evening. First, I have a resolution authorizing the settlement of a subrogation claim by pharmacists Mutual Insurance Company versus the Town of East Chester in the amount of $7,500 for structural damages to Wilmot Pharmacy's building by a town vehicle on December 22nd, 2020. And just briefly, I could just mention, um, this was an accident that took place over the winter. Uh, it was an ice storm. One of our trucks was in the parking lot behind the pharmacy there, uh, skidded into the building, caused some significant damage. Uh, originally, they wanted a, they submitted a claim of 38000 They brought a lawsuit against us, but I told them we weren't going to settle. So uh, my associate, uh, Mr. Disco, was able to negotiate a settlement of $7,500, which I thought was fair and, and obviously a lot less than the 38000 All right. I'll move this. Ask for a second, please. Second. Please call the roll. Councilwoman Nicholson. Aye. Councilwoman Marcotte. Aye. Councilman Dooley. Aye. Councilman Marcosha. Aye. Supervisor Calavita. Aye. Okay, next, I have a resolution authorizing the settlement of a claim by Sandra Rappersod against the town of East Chester in the amount of $3,190.50 for damages sustained to Mrs. Rappersod's vehicle on September 14, 2022. All right, so moved. Second. Please call the roll. Councilwoman Nicholson. Aye. Councilwoman Marcotte. Aye. Councilman Dooley. Aye. Councilman Marcosha. Aye. Supervisor Calavita. Aye. Next, we have the Highway Department report. We have a written report from October 2022. And uh, you're right in the thick of leaf season. And regrettably, people still put all their leaves in the street and not on the grass. 
not realizing that the grass will grow back. So now all the sewers got clogged when it rained on Friday night. But anyway, Mr. Latella. Good evening, Supervisor Calavita, members of the town board. I would like to report our crews have been assigned to leave pickup. We remind our residents that pickup is on an unscheduled basis. Uh, our green waste pickup, which includes leaf bags, branches, and grass clippings, will be picked up on an unscheduled basis. We are planning to be we are planning to schedule pickup for these items on November 16th and November 30th. On Thursday, December 1st, uh, we will resume our pickups of e-waste and metal items, which were suspended during the month of November due to leaf pickup. I would like to wish everyone a happy and healthy Thanksgiving. Thank you, Supervisor Calavita, members of the town board. I have nothing further to report. Any questions, Mr. Latella? No. Thank you very much, Mr. Latella. Okay, next we move the correspondence. We have a memo from the controller on budget transfers and revisions. We have a few minor transfers and some uh, revisions, of course. I'll make a motion to accept same and approve them and ask for a second, please. Second. All right, please call the roll. Councilwoman Nicholson. Aye. Councilwoman Marcotte. Aye. Councilman Dooley. Aye. Councilman Marcosha. Aye. Supervisor Calavita. Aye. Next is a memorandum from the controller on our CSEA union settlement for the years 2022 through 2024. And we have uh, collectively agreed upon a 2% per annum plus some, all or, some additional stipends thereafter for uniforms and, uh, and some library personnel issues. So I want to thank uh, the controller for working very hard with union personnel to get everything worked out. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll certainly <coughs> uh, accept this. So I will make the motion to approve the uh, settlement agreement as uh, submitted uh, to the town board and ask for a second, please. Second. All right, please call the roll. Councilwoman Nicholson. Aye. Councilwoman Marcotte. Aye. Councilman Dooley. Aye. Councilman Marcosha. Aye. Supervisor Calavita. Aye. Okay, next we have uh, a memorandum from the library director regarding the water remediation project at the library. And this is a bid award. Uh, if you recall correctly, at last, uh, maybe two meetings ago, maybe three meetings ago, uh, we rejected the bid because there was insufficient assurance, insurance, and we went out back to bid again. And uh, at this point, we have the uh, remediation project award going to Suburban Construction Company. And the bid was submitted on November 2nd, and they uh, submitted a base bid of $444,217 with a bid on alternate number one of $16,986 and a bid on alternate two for $8,700 for a total of uh, $469,903. We had budgeted uh, $475,000 for the project. Uh, and if you're aware of what's going on at the library, we've had water infiltration in the uh, northwest corner of the building where the elevator is. So all this work has to get done there, including some work in the bathrooms. Uh, and we're basically you know, correcting a problem that has existed for at least, I know, for at least 25 years as I was the uh, president of the library board when we had a problem there. So it's about time we took, uh, you know, took this uh, uh, problem and, and remedied it. So anyway, with that being said, uh, would someone care to make, make, a, uh, make a, a motion authorizing the award of the bid to suburban construction in the amount of four said? So moved. Second. All right, please call the roll. Councilwoman Nicholson. Aye. Councilwoman Marcotte. Aye. Councilman Dooley. Aye. Councilman Marcosha. Aye. Supervisor Calavita. Aye. Next is a memorandum from my office regarding seb, uh, setting a public hearing for the 2023 Town of East Chester budget. And uh, I am proposing that we have a public hearing in this room on Tuesday, December 6th, 2022 at 7 p.m. The budget by law must be adopted by December uh, 20th, 2022. And our next meeting would be on that day. So what we're doing is we're doing a little earlier at the earlier meeting. So if there's any issues or a carryover, we have the freedom to uh, not violate the law and adopt our budget. I don't think we'll have much problem with a 0% tax increase for the town outside budget, which is the, uh, the majority of our budget. And I know that the, uh, the town-wide rate uh, is also minimal and uh, is very, very little with regard to Tuckahoe and Bronxville. So we'll talk more about it at our public hearing. Uh, the budget is available if anybody wants a copy, and uh, we welcome any comments from the public. So that being said, would someone care to make a motion to set a public hearing for that day and time I indicated? So, so we'll Second. All right, please call the roll. Councilwoman Nicholson. Aye. Councilwoman Marcotte. Aye. Councilman Dooley. Aye. Councilman Marcosha. Aye. Supervisor Calavita. Aye. Okay, there being no miscellaneous business, we'll move to council member reports. Councilman Marcocha. Thank you, Supervisor. Um, I just want to wish everyone a happy and safe Thanksgiving. If anyone that's traveling, 
please be careful. And uh, I have no other report this evening. Okay, Councilman Dooley. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Supervisor. I'd like to also wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Um, also, one of my neighbors reached out to me uh, recently and asked, what do we do for seniors? And, you know, it's, it was an easy question to sort of respond to because if you look on our website, the services that we do for our seniors is just incredible. You know, from everything at Lake Isle to all the, the programs we have, et cetera. So if anybody's looking for information on what we do for seniors, check out the town's website or give us a call and uh, talk to this, the, the seniors, uh, seniors Program and Services Group. That concludes my report. Thank you. Councilwoman Nicholson. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. Good evening, everyone. Um, some library news. Uh, we have a lot going on this week. We feature um, New York Photo Songs with John John Brown, and that will be held this Sunday, uh, November 20th at 2 p.m. Um, we have some regular weekly programs going on, story time on Thursday uh, at 2 p.m., crochet classes uh, on Thursday also at 3.45, and some graphic um, novel club um, on Thursday, November 17th at 4 o'clock. In addition, that is now Thanksgiving time, uh, there will be a food drive for our local uh, East Chester Community Action Program. Uh, this is uh, sponsored by the East Chester Rotary Interact Club, and it will be held in front of the East Chester Public Library from 11 to 2 p.m. on this Saturday. And I uh, hope you could uh, participate. And uh, that is all I have, and I wish everyone a gobble-gobble day. And there's a lot to be thankful for. Uh, and um, that is all I have. Okay. Thank you. Councilwoman Marcotte. Thank you, Supervisor. Um, I just have a few announcements. I want to announce that this Saturday, November 19th, at Playland, the county is going to be holding their Household Recycling Day from 9 to 3. Um, you can bring properly labeled household chemicals, scrap metal, tires, some small appliances, things of that nature. Uh, you can put them in your trunk or your back seat and just pull up, and they will literally take them out of your car for you. So again, that's Saturday, nine to three at Playland. Also want to remind residents to uh, look at the website for recreation events that will be coming up for the holiday season. I know the Santa stop at the gazebo park is scheduled for December 3rd at two o'clock and the holiday tree lighting at Memorial Park will be December 4th at 4.30. Um, I also wanted to mention that Bronxville, the village of Bronxville in conjunction with the Junior League is also collecting food for Thanksgiving. Uh, they've been doing it for quite a few days now and they'll be continuing to collect up until tomorrow, I think around four o'clock. You can leave donations off at Bronxville Village Hall if you're interested or inclined to donate. I wanted to congratulate also the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, many of my colleagues and I had the opportunity to attend a, a quick celebration, if you will, that had been postponed for many years because of the pandemic. And so tonight they are honoring past presidents Sandy Albanese, Paula Cora, and Business of the Year Keller Williams. So we congratulate the Chamber for all they did during the pandemic. It was, it was a lot of work and a heavy lift, so they do, they do a lot of good work in the town, and we are appreciative of them. Also, lastly, I wanted to mention Veterans Day. I want to thank the veterans. I'm sure the supervisor will speak to it since he pretty much put it together with the veterans, but it was a great, a great event up at Lake Isle, and to the many parents who came out and brought their children. Um, I think it, they appreciated it, and I, and I hope to see those families at many other veterans' events, because I know the veterans were delighted to see them all there. Um, lastly, I would just wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. If you're traveling, safe travels, and we do have much to be thankful for. That concludes my report, Supervisor. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I, I made sure I gave Sheila credit at the veterans event because she remembered that it was the 50th anniversary of the President of the United States coming to East Chester to uh, uh, dedicate the war memorial at Memorial Park. But uh, it was an, an excellent event, and I gotta thank our group of spry veterans. They're terrific. Uh, they just, you know, uh, they're so supportive of this entire community, and they're not looking for anything. They're looking to do for community events. They're always attending different events. They're always supportive of uh, whatever program might be going on. We're very lucky to have such a terrific group of men and women um, at, that, at, that occupy our posts in the town. 
And uh, the ceremony itself was excellent. And everybody was uh, very moved by some of the speakers that were there. And everybody was very, very cognizant of the sacrifices made by veterans. And everyone also remembered those that never got a chance to be veterans and never came home. So it was really quite a, gr a great program. And I'll, I'll conclude by saying that a gentleman that uh, myself and Commander Foster never met before said that he had heard that they were having a, 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 a Veterans Day program and he was passing through the town. And he said he lived in Kentucky or Tennessee or somewhere. And he sounded like it too. But he said, you guys don't know me and I never set foot in this town, but I heard this was going on. And he goes, he said, uh, that was one of the most classic uh, events I've been to and I'm a veteran and I really appreciate what you guys did. And he asked us for a DVD. So we're gonna send him one. But uh, it, was, it was that moving that you know, some stranger would just say, wow, I can't believe what I just saw here. We should do the same thing where I come from. So in that regard, all of the board members were present. It was a great day. It was a great day for veterans. It was a great day for East Chester. And we did, in fact, recognize uh, President uh, Nixon's uh, trip to East Chester. And I, I spoke of many anecdotes about the event, but it really was quite moving to have the President of the United States uh, come here uh, at that time. Anyway, uh, I, I wish everyone also a, a wonderful Thanksgiving and also be prepared for a lot of tree lightings. This is a great time of the year. It's hard on Mr. Latella and the parks guys, <laughs> but uh, you're gonna have probably a dozen tree lightings in the next few weeks and it makes the town look beautiful and it fosters neighborhood spirit and all kinds of uh, community uh, spirit in our town. So anyway, with that being said, I'll conclude my remarks. And uh, anyone here to speak on the second opportunity? There being nobody, someone care to make a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you all. Thank you.